Hi, this is Cheryl Peterson from Healing Science Today. I borrowed a new book from the library, Mother God by Teresa Kim Pasinowski. It focuses on God as mother with respect to God as father. It's interesting. Mother God is a picture book about 30 pages with friendly illustrations. The words and illustrations open my mind to a bigger picture. The bigger picture is mental and allows rational thought and inspiration. It's not inspiring to consider God as only a father. It doesn't even make sense. Women birth children, not men. It's definitely not inspiring to live in a male-dominated society. I don't believe God is some super genetic gendered form. I believe God is spirit, truth, and love. But infinite spirit and truthful love is difficult to understand, and so we use metaphors, pictures, books, songs, life experiences to understand more. And since we all have a father and mother, this is where the concept father-mother comes in handy as one approach to understanding God better. It's not the only approach, and... We need to be mindful of the people who didn't have good parents. Not every human parent understands how to express the best of fatherhood and motherhood. I myself, as a mother and grandmother, am still learning. This approach of a father-mother God must be used appropriately with respect to each individual's background. The book, Mother God, shows a, it does show human mothers expressing the traits of wisdom and kindness. Mothering is also shown by a hen gathering her chicks under her wings or a mother bear protecting her cubs. There are no scriptural quotes in the book, but I do know that the concept of a father-mother God has been thought and written about for thousands of years. Looking through scripture, I found these verses. I'll read from the New King James Version. Psalms. It's a song of David. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. Also from Isaiah. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. Again in Isaiah, As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you, and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. Definitely motherly qualities. And Jesus comes along and pries open further this idea of Mother God. From the Gospel of Luke, Jesus said, O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her, how often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you are not willing? <laughs> His remark pointed a finger at the people who still clung to their fixed orthodox mindsets of a male domination, but yet, but yet, Jesus' words persuaded truth seekers to see God as mother. Even more, Jesus persuaded us to be willing to accept God as mother. But then Jesus had a good mom. <laughs> he trusted his parents and probably for good reason. His life and works, though, help me think of God as displaying a full range of masculine and feminine qualities that manifest and multiply productively through us. Courage, strength, gentleness, joy, wisdom, creativity, all ours. Today, I meet people who understand God as mother. Three religions established in the 19th century, the Universalist, the Church of Latter-day Saints, and Christian Science, encourage followers to understand and be one with Father, Mother, God. 
It brings to mind the first line of the Lord's Prayer, along with an afterthought written by Mary Baker Eddy, the discoverer of Christian science. Our Father in Heaven. Our Father, Mother, God, all harmonious. An all harmonious parent isn't afraid or lost or taking favorites. All at once, we can represent innocent childlikeness, fathering and mothering done well. If God is a complete creator, we have the approval to manifest a transparency that shines with a trustful and trusted whole family connected by the blood of divine understanding, Christ.